Good morning. Thank you for joining me this morning. My name is Tom Goulding. I'm the chairman of the computer science department at Daniel Webster College. And I want to talk to you a little bit about the G method, which is a technique that we use at Daniel Webster College to help novice programmers, and in particular freshmen, to develop very complex gaming systems in their first year of programming experience. In a second tape, I'm actually going to be demonstrating uh, a complete casino gaming system called Limehouse that was developed by one of our freshman teams this year in the spring of 2007. Uh, that freshman team um, had no programming experience uh, in a visual environment or an event-driven operating system environment um, prior to the beginning of the term uh, 14 weeks ago. Uh, and what I'll be demonstrating is a full client system of multiple games, including craps, uh, poker, blackjack, and slot machines uh, that a player could log on on a casino floor and um, move from game to game, uh, all of his assets being completely accounted for as he moves from game to game, and those assets and his login information uh, being transferred to the back room uh, to the uh, client control and player asset uh, management system. So it is a full complete system that actually is of quality and functionality that could be sent to a Las Vegas casino. And the question a lot of people ask is, how can freshmen who have had nothing but one semester of console programming experience develop such a complex product in 14 weeks? And in particular, this um, team that I'm talking about, the ones that developed Limehouse, uh, for example, um, had no experience in the C-sharp language or no experience with the .NET framework or managed code prior to the beginning of the term. And yet at the end of the term, as the tape that uh, follows will show, uh, they have developed an amazing piece of software. There are a number of aspects that are associated with what we call the G method. Uh, the primary one uh, in our program is that we use a gaming motif throughout all four years of the Daniel Webster Computer Science and Gaming and Robotics programs because uh, the gaming motif creates a, a magnetism and an energy um, that really motivates uh, students to want to uh, reach to the highest levels of achievement. Combined with that, we use some rather non-traditional classroom uh, methods. Uh, for example, we incorporate a very much corporate-like management methods in our classroom. So we used uh, what people call agile software engineering methodologies, combined combine that with quick prototyping and some very disciplined and pyramid integration schemes as a product development roadmap that we help our freshmen or novice programmers use in order to accomplish a very complex piece of software engineering in a very short period of time. We also have abandoned traditional classroom lectures um, where the professor is uh, somewhat the resident expert um, uh, propounding great thoughts and great ideas to the students um, in a lecture uh, classroom kind of format. Uh, we have found that massive knowledge assimilation um, and extraordinary software engineering feats can only be accomplished when students are working predominantly on an independent study basis they're working with a cooperative learning mindset with other team members, other students. And we have found that students actually learn better as they share with one another their own independent study and research and investigation than they do waiting on a professor to show them how to do things. So there are really three dimensions to the G method. One, of course, is to exploit and emphasize the uh, energy and enthusiasm associated with working in a gaming kind of an environment or gaming product development. The second is uh, using uh, very disciplined, very structured corporate type product development methodologies. And then the third, of course, is to have a non-traditional classroom where the focus is on student research, student study, uh, teamwork, and cooperative learning. Um, and also because the students are working intimately with one another in a laboratory setting that's very observable by the professor, uh, there's really no added value um, in doing examinations, uh, just as we find that there's very little value in having students wait on an instructor to show them how to do something. So those are the main elements of the uh, G method, and perhaps the best way to understand um, its impact is to actually look at a demonstration, uh, which I'm going to show you in the next tape of the Limehouse, and then later I'll have another tape of a second uh, magnificent piece of software called um, Bloodhoof. But Limehouse is a full client server system, multiple games. You can set up four or eight uh, clients 
uh, working and talking to a server uh, where the clients um, can be played by individuals, one playing craps, one playing a roulette. The players can move from game to game. Their assets are completely accounted for. Uh, and all the information is sent to a uh, client control and asset management system uh, that, if you will, the casino would have uh, in the back room. So uh, without further ado, uh, we'll turn and I'll uh, give you a demonstration of the uh, Limehouse uh, client server casino system. Thank you.